It wasn't up to five minutes that I got in there that before we knew what was happening, the whole we just heard a noise. In an instant, the whole zinc, big rod, the whole construction, the whole building just fell. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nerichi and this is TV Night Erichi Show. If this is your first time of being on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if this is not your first time, you're welcome back and um thank you so much for being here with me. Basically, the main aim of this video is um to outline the things God has really done for me and to outline the things I've been through in this life that most of you don't know. But my life has really been a miracle. Yeah. So I want to do a story time video and tell you guys the near death experience I've actually had. Before I start, I feel that your name actually defines like who you are. Your name actually tells like 90% if not 100% of what you are and who you are right now. So you just take a minute actually and Take a minute and think about your say your name actually say your name and then know if your name reflects what you are going through right now know if your name reflects who you are at the moment do that and tell me if i'm trying to say the truth so i feel like god has already orchestrated it like he already knew that this is this is who you are going to be this is this name is for you like my name, I mean, most persons know me as as Nonye. Actually, my name, the short form of my name is uh, Nonye, but my full name is Chinonye, and I'm Igbo. I'm from Nigeria. For my non nigerians that are watching this channel, uh, Nonye is my name, and then uh, the full name is Chinonye, and it means God is with you. you know, God is with you. So basically, you can imagine how my name has been has been working for me for like a long time now. In 2016, I was involved in a mind-blowing massive accident. Guys, I was involved in the in the biggest accident you can ever think of. I'm going to go through the extreme miles to put up a video and the pictures of the accident I'm talking about. You remember this church that collapsed way back in 2016, back in Uyo, Upper Ibom State. You remember that was my church. That was my church all through my years in the university. Okay, five years now. Five years then, that was a church I've been attending. Guess what? 10th December 2016, I was inside that church. And guess what? I'm alive, yo. I am alive. Jeez, like that is basically the only thing that I would never forget in my life. I remember my friend then, um, Sugar Boo. Do you know that we went viral then? All the newspapers, all the television stations, all the radio stations, we went viral. Because after that event, I made a post on Facebook about the friends I lost, the uh, the course, um, the uh, schoolmates I lost, and my experience then, Lindy KG even carried it. Everybody posts, these day guy then, all the newspapers, all the online, they all carried it. If you even put up a picture of your phone and check that, Nonya Richie, around uh, 10 December, 2016 the Renaissance Bible Church you're gonna see my name it's all there so I remember the, I remember the events that happened that day okay I'm gonna start from how it all happened um, it was the uh, bishop entrumment of our papa okay back then and um, I really loved church I really really loved the things of God like I really love it but then it was so 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 intense okay it was so intense for me back then truth be told truth be told actually now i i don't go to church often as i usually do back then 
okay and most persons don't really know why i think at some point i'm not trying to give excuses here but at some point these events the stuff that happened okay really told on me a lot in that aspect because then it was so intense for me i never missed church that day wasn't even on a sunday it was on a saturday so imagine me going to church on a saturday i was there on wednesday i was there on sunday it was so intense the things of god were so intense for me going to church that i never missed anyone night of um, answers all night i was always there that day we were to go there it was on a saturday and i don't know if you're out there you have to listen to your instincts okay your instincts actually you know the moment you want to do something and something at the back of your head tells you no don't do this or don't do this always listen to it okay always listen to that voice <clears throat> like mine i never ate anything that day that morning was on a saturday that morning all of a sudden i haven't even eaten i started purging like i was having a running tummy that day and if you're having a running tummy it's a normal thing for you to stay back right because you won't want to be disgraced when you go out okay you know that that feeling but guess what it was I wanted to go I wanted to go okay I loved it that I wanted to go so even with that I still went so I want you guys to follow me with this story now because that was God telling me from the beginning but I was so stubborn that I still head out I, I, I left I went to the church then with my friend so we went to the church we were all praising God like it was a large crowd yo um, they were just erecting we had an, an, a church so they broke that one down and they were erecting a new a new foundation because we wanted to enlarge the church because we we're having much person so that day that was the process I'm gonna show you guys this video I'm really definitely gonna show you guys the video they were erecting the church so we have the big rods and everything there so that day the, the, the governor of the state came that day some celebrities some of them came that day most persons even people that were not members of the church came because it wasn't like a church program it wasn't like a church service it was like an event so we went to the church we were praising god you know uh worship all the kind of things choir rendition and all and i started having another urge to use the convenience you all know what i'm talking about right i started having the urge to go to the toilet so that moment i wanted to use the toilet again i don't know why i think it was priest then and the priest was so intense and me i always like dancing you know shaking body i didn't want to go but i left I went because there was a there was a, a toilet outside the outside the whole building outside the whole construction that was going on. I went outside there, and I was there for more than fifteen minutes. I was there, you know, not like I was poopy, yo. I was just there. This is I, I want you guys to understand the processes. It all went through for God telling me not to be in that building, but I was so stubborn. I was so stubborn. 15 minutes I was there, praise was going on. I wanted to be a part of this praise, yo. So, after being there for 15 minutes, I wasn't all satisfied, but I wanted to go back. And I went back. I went back into the building. I went back into the church. It was all. Then it was, um, it was, uh, yeah, it was still offering time. Offering time, if I remember vividly well. So we're all doing our offering and everything. It wasn't up to five minutes that I entered to the building and I sat down because my friend was close to me. Sugar boo was at my left hand. Ah, sugar. That is why, um, even though we don't talk more often, sugar boo is like, she's my miracle partner. Like she's my partner right now, yo. Because it was something I experienced with her. So... Uh, it wasn't up to five minutes that I got in there that before we knew what was happening the whole we just heard a noise in an instant the whole zinc big rods 
the whole construction, the whole building just fell. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying so hard not to cry. It was an experience that I wouldn't even want my enemy to to go through. I'm sorry about that guys. So the whole building just went down. Thank God I didn't make up today because Thank God I didn't make up today because my makeup would have been smeared yo I'm sorry So it wasn't up to 5 minutes that I got in there the whole building just came down I'm talking about thousands of people that was in the church Like thousands of people it didn't come down in five minutes for people to run away it just came down in a second like i want you to imagine imagine you being in a house and then your house just collapsed on you yes without you knowing that was what happened I was right there I was right there and then I'm talking about big rods you all know because they were building it was like a cathedral you know a cathedral so you can imagine the vast the vast space the the heavy things they were using to build the whole building just came down in an instant everybody I'm gonna try and make this video very fast right now so it just came down and then that was it that was it so it was like then no you're dead you're like it's like you're dead that is the end of your life <laughs> ah but God was not done with me yet yo he wasn't done with me yet he wasn't even about me he wasn't about me at all because when it happened, ha! Huh? No, 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 no. It wasn't. A, no, it wasn't. A, it was a bad experience. It's the worst experience. When it happened, I don't know how many minutes it took me to stand up from there. Like when it happened, I just like, okay, it fell. Then you have to know if you're alive or if you're moving. And then for for a second, I don't know. I just just stood up. Like I, I was I, I was just there. Actually, I, the, the the zinc was on me. A zinc was on me. I took off the zinc. A heavy zinc. I took it off. Then I couldn't even remember Shigabu that was close to me because I just wanted to know if anything is, is like what's how, how, what I'm what I'm doing. Like, am I still alive? Is half of my body gone, guys? When I stood up, like I didn't stand up. When I I, I opened my eyes. There was this lady that was close to me, a woman. This is really going to be so gory. The details are so gory. The woman's body was split into two. Like half of her body was here while the remaining half of her body and the legs were there. That is the kind of accidents that happened. It wasn't a, a scratch body. It wasn't a scratch it was that kind of it was that it was that bad people's head like when i saw that that's when i realized that okay this is happening this has happened people are dead people are dead i was just shouting jesus christ jesus christ and then i wanted to know what was wrong with me guys guess what nothing happened to me
nothing happened to me. I was alive. I was breathing. Nothing happened to me, but the only thing that actually happened was a scratch on my leg. I had I had a cut. If the big rod actually fell on me, I would have been dead or I would have I would have been an amputee by by now. But then I don't know what actually I don't know what actually did the cut. It was a it was a cut which needed the stitching. I'm gonna show you guys the picture of it right now. See this? This is the wound. It was a cut, and I stitched it. That was the only thing that happened to me in that accident. That was the only thing. In essence, what I'm saying is that God just wanted to teach me a lesson with this. Why? Because. All the signs he was giving me I was just not listening to it in a sense that if I was still outside there for like another five minutes if I was still outside at the convenience in the toilet for another five minutes I wouldn't have had this course I would have just been outside seeing what was happening but then because I was too stubborn I had to go in and he just had to give me this course he like you know what you don't want a lesson all right this is it for you so I woke up and then People were cut into two. People's legs were here. People's hands were here. Someone's head was all splitting. That was how disastrous this accident, guys, was. I'm not even really saying it to you because I don't know how to explain it. And then for a second, I had to think about my friend. My clothes were all shred like into pieces, you know, because we had to sew. It was a material. My clothes were all shred into pieces. So I wasn't interested in that. I had to check my friend. Oh my God! Thank God my friend was fine. Thank God my friend was fine. And know the happiest thing again, we didn't invite anybody. You know, this kind of church pro church program is you go telling your friend, please come join us to this, and they come. So my friend and I were like, if we actually invited someone and something happened to the person, what are we gonna say? Are we going to be feel okay? Are we going to even breathe? You get that kind of a thing. So we're happy that we're just members of the church and we wanted to go together. We didn't invite anybody. So don't think to go. My friend Sugar Bush was fine. Nothing happened to her. But I think we are, we, we, we weren't even rushed to the hospital because it was the kind of thing that nobody was interested in knowing what was wrong with you. Fend for yourself. Take care of yourself. Because people were dying. People died in hundreds. People died in hundreds. I'm telling you guys. More than 200 people died. People died in hundreds. People died in hundreds. People died in hundreds. My friend and I, we came out. We found a way to come out. I saw my friend. My friend. Before then, she gave, she, she was the one sharing, she was an usher. She was sharing the, the um, what do they call that? Uh, the magazine for the day, okay? The program for the day she was sharing it and then I, I saw her she was dead she wasn't moving <laughs> guys um if I start to tell this story I'm not gonna finish this story so I'm just going to like cut it short my friend and I went to the hospital immediately we just came out we left the building with our shredded clothes we looked for the nearest because my cut was deep. Okay, in this teaching, it was I was bleeding. I had to tear my dress to to tie it so that I could stop the bleeding. And my friend was okay, but I think she was having internal pains and all. We went to the we just went outside the nearest keke that was there. We entered. He took us to the nearest hospital. I went through stitching immediately. Uh, my friend she took medicine because she was having internal pains and all. Guys, that was it. The accident was too much like I couldn't get myself for more than three weeks I could just stay in the room like this and then I'll hear the sound like when it fell it came with a sound I'll just hear it and I'll jump up I was still in shock I was still in shock for that kind of like for that moment for that for that period it was crazy I was scared of entering the church I was scared of going to a church I was scared and at some point still now that is what has been telling on me it has and it needs to stop here yeah, I, I need to I need to get over it I've gotten over it here yeah, because it's like three years now but you know basically guys that is that is that is that is my story so far that's what I, wanted to, what I wanted to tell you guys that my life indeed has been a miracle like 
I, if I did die then, I'm never dying again, so or whenever. I'm so old, you know, I've lived my life. Uh, I didn't tell my mom then, so like after like two days or after a day, you know, because it was everywhere. It was right. People heard about the news. It was viral. It was viral. I told her. My mom screamed. My mom screamed. My mom, and that was after I lost my dad. I lost my dad last year. I lost my dad a year. I lost my dad a year before that. Okay. That was when I lost my dad. So it was like, your dad is gone and you want to go with him. That kind of a thing. You know, that kind of a thing. So I can't finish telling this story, guys. I really can't finish telling this story. But it was a crazy, it was a crazy thing. So that's why till now, when I remember that, I just feel that my life is indeed a miracle. And then no matter what happens, God is always going to be here with me. God is always going to be with me because that's my name. He has always been showing himself. He can never leave. He can never leave me, you know. So, um, that's basically my story. It's like, come your way next time, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to drop your comments. Uh, you could also tell me what God has done for you, you know. Just tell me a little bit of story about what God has done for you in the comment section. And, um, thank you for watching. Alright, guys. Bye.